We're here with David White and Doug Arniokowski, the writer and director of Red Sonia. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Very well, thank you. Now that I'm here, it took me six hours to get here from LA. <laughs> so, why Red Sonia? What drew you guys to this property? Well, I was actually uh, contacted by Millennium Films and several producers that I know and have worked for before. And I know that they had been sort of interested in Red Sonia for a while, ever since the Dynamite comic series started to, to do really well. And uh, they somehow were interested in my take on it, uh, and it was, you know, for which I was very grateful. I went in and sort of pitched them an idea of what I thought it could be. And, and I got a job writing the script, so it, it started out as, as a simple assignment. And it sort of grew from there, you know. And I think uh, I think we all began to see a potential for something perhaps even larger than we originally set out to do. Yeah, you know. And then look, David's script got into the hands of Robert Rodriguez, who had been a huge fan since he was a kid. And you know, Robert had ideas and thoughts, and he wanted to put his stamp on Red Sonia. And so he called me up and said, look, you know, I've got this script, I'd love to produce it, I'd love for you to direct it, give it a read, let's sit down and talk about it, we're talking about concepts, and, you know, with Robert, I mean, it's like a palette that every artist could only dream of having. So, you know, I think that once it got in the right producer's hands, uh, the movie just became its own entity, really. You know, because I know the movie had been thought about for many years, and they'd been trying to get it off the ground, they could never quite find the right writer, and then who would produce it, and who would direct it. They just caught a storm, and they are riding it out. So, in terms of concept, how much is this going to draw from the old film? How much is it going to draw from the comics? How much is it going to draw from Robert E. Howard's books? Um, well, I think the spirit of Robert E. Howard's books are going to be there, you know, just in terms of that, that wonderful action and the, and the twist and turns. Um, I, I, it's not really going to draw at all from the former film, uh, I, with the exception of the title. Um, and as far as the comics, I think there's a definite inspiration there. There are some, you know, there are some aspects to the comics that we definitely want to stay faithful to. However, we do want to reinvent it for 2009 as well. I think we've done that. So. I'd say the comics and Robert E. Howard much more than the original film. Mm. <laughs> I mean, what else could I say? Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's right. <laughs> I'm always right. right. All right, Doug, you've worked with Robert Rodriguez quite a bit. Yes. Um, what was it like, you know, not being his second unit director, but actually directing a film with him producing? Well, I mean, listen, it's, you know, it's a dream. I mean, working with Robert in any capacity is fantastic. I mean, he's been my film school. You know, I've been with Robert for almost 15 years now, and, you know, you learn from the best. You know, no matter what you're doing, you want to be with people who are the best at their craft. He's the best at his craft, and I've learned so much from him. So it is sort of a natural progression that we're doing this now. So, you know, again, I just feel fortunate to be involved in the process, and uh, listen, he's a great mentor, and he's a film lover. He just loves them, he loves making them, he loves watching them, he loves every aspect about it. So to have him in your corner, uh, you know, you feel like the champ of the world. 